and here it is uh, working I'm holding it together with a couple of wood clamps because these screws are a bit fiddly to take in and out lots of times so to set the timing the idea is to take off the clamps rotate the back a bit put it back on with the clamps and then measure the current like this and that one seems to be running quite nicely on 24 volts about an amp and a half I may be able to get it lower than that will that will we'll have a play and see after a bit of trial and error I've uh, found a, the optimum position to give about one amp with this motor and it all sounds very nice and just because I can I've got a bit of cheating here we've got this electronic timing adjuster on it and I'll just check I've got the best position because if I retard the timing by a few degrees, 30 degrees we've got to, the current is like two and a half times what it was it doesn't sound much different but the current's a lot more and if I advance it by around about 30 degrees we see the current is uh, is almost four times what it was and if it runs a little bit faster so the optimum position and the, the minimum current is when there's um, no timing shift applied by this gizmo here which means that we've got the, the back plate in the right place so I'll um, I'll turn it off and I'll put a couple of blobs of glue on it now to hold it there for good and here it is all fully assembled and uh, we'll just test it there's the sensor cable coming out of one of the grommets there um, I've removed all the timing electronics to prove there's no trickery so uh, here we go let's just spin it from the throttle uh, get my hands around it there we go It's about an amp, 1.03 amps it's drying there on 24 volts. Running nice and smooth. So what I'll do now is run it up and leave it running for an hour or an hour or two. We'll just clamp the throttle open. With one of these very useful clamps. Okay, 